what's up uh so car randomly just stopped out of nowhere but i got a fuse right here i got another one i need to keep some in place and see what that do let me see if it's going probably not Oh fuck. Not it fucking turn. Oh, yeah, come on. That's the remove key. Let's go! Oh my god! I got so scared. But I don't know why the fuck it caused that shit to. Oh my god, I'm so excited. We gotta see why that fuse had popped. Why you think it popped, baby? You don't know. <laughs> the rocks? I don't know. Something had to cause it. Alright, let's get rolling. So we That'd be a reason why. So guys, we got the car temporarily moving. Uh, we should be able to get home and stuff tonight. Um, I got in a drive. I was able to push this button and to move it. Uh, so I found a bad fuse. It kept blowing, it blew twice, got another fuse. Now I had to literally take everything apart just to get this thing back driving and stuff. I'm just trying to ride and get a nice video on today, but nothing ain't gonna stop me. Cause guess what? I got it and we're gonna get on tonight. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. I might have to probably get a scanner or something for it. See y'all. So guys, let's do a recap. So I wouldn't make a pit stop uh, to the destination that we made it just to look at the map. Mind you, turn off my car, went to go back to the car. Car would not crank up at all. And I'm like, what? So I went to my battery. I know my battery was good on juice. I had spark. Um, I was trying to crank the car over. It would not crank over at all. So I went to thinking. I said, okay, you know what? I'm checking all the fuses. Uh, I have th three total boxes of fuses, two up front, 
left and passenger left and uh left passenger side and uh no left driver side and right passenger side excuse me and then on the back passenger seat underneath the seat where the battery in another fuse box is located but that's for like the inside stuff like uh your seats windows and all that good little stuff but the two that's up front that's for like your engine like your fuel pump and all that little extra stuff but anyway i checked the fuse found one bad fuse replaced the fuse car cranked up but mind you i could not shift in gear so went to turn back on the car it would do the same thing keep saying remove key remove key so i did a little research but i barely couldn't because i barely had service and i kept seeing tcm problems mind you it wasn't no help to my issue so replace the fuse and i thought about it i can manually shift this car so i used the screwdriver pushed it in this little uh hole where i can manually uh shift it because it's like electronic so i manually shifted it and it was driving it was driving real good. I said, yes, got it. Check underneath the car. Uh, probably need to do another video and show you uh, one part because it's weird because as soon as I hit like a little small dip, I don't know. I don't know what could cause it, the, uh, the trigger. But anyway, I enjoyed uh, the time at the park I had. We had to replace the fuse again. Somebody had offered us a fuse, but it did not work. So I had a fuse, replaced it manually shifted the car got to driving then i went to auto zone oh well before that i had to use another fuel because we ran out of fuses uh 10 amp fuses and this fuse i guess it controlled like the cluster the the alarms and all that stuff my drain had no reading on the gauge uh with my temp gas or nothing so we was riding like that till we got to our destination and once i put the fuses where they needed to be at that i uh took out Everything worked it fine. The car shifted so smoothly in gear without me having to manually do it. And then went to eat, and then it drove. It made it home, man. I'm I'm really surprised. So I'm gonna have to look around, make sure everything is good in the way. Do more research, uh, and that's pretty much it. So if y'all have any ideas, let me know. I know I talked to somebody in AutoZone. They were saying same thing happened to them. They had to get the thing reset it. And uh, it was a blinker light when they looked into it. But I glad I ain't had to use no computer and stuff because it had it had a reset once I had pulled that fuse for a good little minute. So thank God I ain't had to use no fuse. But that's it. Make sure you like this uh, video, subscribe. Welcome to R3 Garage. Welcome to my car problems. And stay tuned for more.